Hello, Gail here at Critter Connection. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your hedgehog isn't eating and is losing weight and you're concerned about the health of your hedgehog. So the first thing to do is to figure out why isn't your hedgehog eating? Um, and we have a separate video on some of the reasons why your hedgehog might not be eating. But just a few examples would be your food is stale. Um, keep in mind, your hedgehog's only eating a small amount a day. So if your food is four months old, five months old, six months old, depending on how it's been stored, has it been stored in the sun? What temperature has it been in? Your food just might not be tasting good. I don't like to eat stale chips. So your hedgehog might be thinking the same thing. It just needs a fresh batch. Um, so if your food is more than three months old, um, look into that as one of the top reasons why your hedgehog might not be eating as much. Look at your cage temperature and of course look for any changes in his environment, changes in health, are there any other complicating things. Um, so once you've thought about is there anything that could be causing your hedgehog not to eat, the second step is to use um, our favorite product would be Stress Less. The first day I notice that a hedgehog isn't eating, I'll add some stress less to the top of their food. It's just a small amount of sprinkles, just a little sprinkle of stress less, and um, we call it good. So hopefully, just a little bit of stress less will encourage them to eat. If that doesn't work, and I'm concerned about a hedgehog, what I'll do is take some of the stress less, and I try to put it on here. You can see there's some stress less on this tablespoon. And then I added just a few drops of olive oil to give it some more calories, or you could do a flaxseed oil or water. But then I take my finger, so you want just a little bit, make it into a paste, and then you can wipe it on your hedgehog, um, which will be very annoying. So hopefully your hedgehog will get annoyed and lick it off. And then a lot of times that will um, start your hedgehog eating again because its tummy is now stimulated. So that would be the first step. A little stress less on the food, stress less and some oil, mix it up and put it on your hedgehog. If that doesn't work, we need to start really paying attention by day two. Um, another thing you can try is some outside foods that the, the hedgehog might consider a treat. So if you have favorite treats like scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, um, boiled chicken is gonna be your best option. As far as chicken goes, it has a little less um, phosphorus in it that would leach the calcium from the bone. So boiled chicken if you have it. Um, but if you're looking for something at the pet store that you could find, um, one of my favorite standbys is called Tiki Cat. And I like Tiki Cat because it has quality ingredients. I've talked to the sales reps several times, um, manufacturers of the company. I like this one because it does have pumpkin in it, which can help um, as a natural laxative if there's some binding up. This one is chicken egg, chicken and egg and pumpkin. Um, just different, there's a few different options as far as Tiki Cat, but I like it because it's in a foil pack. I can take out a small amount, close it back down, um, refrigerate it, and then give it some more the next day. So that's another tempting thing they have. If you don't have Tiki Cat available, you might be able to run up to your local Dollar General or Family Dollar or something like that. Whiskas also has a brand of foil pack cat food that you might try. Whiskas is likely to clean it out, not because of the pumpkin, but because of the fillers. So they might get some um, little loose stools from that, but the goal of this is to get your hedgehog to eat. Another option would be insects. If your hedgehog does not li like freeze dried, for example, you might try live, something completely new and completely different. Run to the pet store, make sure you don't get your insects from the, um, from the wild, so get them from the, the pet store um, because they won't have parasites or you don't want from the bait store um, for fishing bait because those may also have parasites. But get quite a few bugs and put them in a, um, a small container, maybe a shoebox size container, put a couple dozen bugs in there and put your hedgehog, hedgehog in. If your hedgehog doesn't notice the bugs right away, cover the container and make it dark. Make sure it's in a warm spot, but dark. That way your hedgehog can um, discover the bugs on its own and hopefully catching the bugs and eating the bugs will be a stimulation, stimulus that can also start jumpstart its diet. Um, beyond that, there's a couple other things that you can do. Um, veterinarians often have a product called Hills Prescription, Hills Science Diet Prescription A slash D, and that's for um, sick or injured animals. So it's a dog and cat food, but it's called Hills 
science diet prescription A slash D. Another um, harder to find but good option from your veterinarian would be an, something called carnivore care. And carnivore care is a powder that you can mix with water and syringe feed or put it in a dish. Um, sometimes I will also take their regular kibble, grind it into a powder, or we have a product called First Crumbs, which is also already ground, but you can grind their regular kibble into a powder, add some stress less, and either bone broth or low sodium chicken broth um, or water if you need to, but sometimes just having it in a soft, slightly warmed form may help the same way with your um, A, um, A and D or armivore care or any of the other foods. If it's slightly warmed, your hedgehog might take it a little easier. So hopefully those things will get your hedgehog back on track, but you also want to start weighing your hedgehog and we'll do a video on how to weigh your hedgehog, but you wanna start weighing your hedgehog the same time every day and weigh it in grams because you wanna pay attention to how much weight is your hedgehog losing. Sometimes hedgehogs just aren't as active, so they're not eating as much. So um, not eating as much as normal might not necessarily be bad if the activity level is changing, but you definitely wanna make sure your hedgehog doesn't lose weight. So hopefully those tips will help you keep your hedgehog on track. And if it's not on track, get it back on track. If you like this um, video, hit that like button, subscribe, share. Um, but if you also have any comments or any tips, things that you found that have been helpful for your hedgehogs when you've had hedgehogs that don't want to eat or something, please comment so that we can share those tips with others. Thank you and have a great day.